Hi. So recently I switched from Ryobi to Makita. I guess why it's not important here. But since I'm getting used to the system, I wanted to test real capacity and features of Makita batteries with built-in partial protection. I did capacity test for fresh Ryobi 2.5 amp hours batteries some time ago and they were close but not as advertised. Spoiler alert, the same is with Makita batteries. Ok, so I have new fully charged and original 6 and 5 amp hours Makita batteries. They had perhaps 2 or 3 charge cycles so far, so brand new. Both are discharged with rather moderate current for amps. Nothing special on this value. Just not too small to get grey hair while discharging and not too much to stress battery or my electronic load. Funny thing I've just noticed while preparing this video that those batteries are scratched quite a lot. But trust me, they are brand new. It looks like the plastic is scratch susceptible. Well, I guess it is another feature of them. So what you are watching is already six times faster than normal. But not to bore you to death, there is a small cut in the middle. Anyway, I was especially interested in over discharge protection to know if I can use those batteries safely without worrying too much of destroying them. Sadly, I don't think so. They are somehow protected, but much too low for my taste. I don't know what cells are exactly used, but assuming they are somehow similar to Sony VTC5, battery should cut off load when reaching around 12.5V. That is 2.5 volt per cell. Like you will see, this is not gonna happen. Even assuming really low load like 0.2C for these cells, battery should cut off load at 10 volts. But instead 10 volts, they both stop working around 8 volts. This is much too low to be safe. And as you can see, capacity is also much lower than advertised especially with 6 amp hour battery. I know, capacity is not the only benefit of having 6 amp hour battery, they're supposed to be able also provide more current, but I haven't tested that.